Hello and welcome to Caravan Salon 2020. And I've shown you some of the motorhome and uh, halls, uh, the ca camper vans, the luxurious vehicles. I've shown the equipment. And we've got this hall here, which I'm going to term the miscellaneous. No in normal years, uh, this is sort of expanded over a large area. Some people will be in the equipment, others will be in the campsites, and others even uh, there was an area for clothing in Tour Natur. Because of the COVID situation, everything has got much uh, smaller. So put into one, uh, at one place and a hall. Uh, okay, this year we've got half the exhibitors we'd have normally here. Anyway, I'm gonna take you through and show you some of the things. We'll start with this company here, Vomodil, who actually, so they, uh, um, we, there's a website called, I think it's We Buy Any Car. Well, they sort of buy uh, a lot of motorhomes. We, they buy, I don't have any in motorhome, but they sort of buy lots of them. And whereas it's, you will get less money, but on the other hand, you, uh, you get the money quicker. Right, so you've got equipment for campsites and uh, various destinations such as here. We've got Catalonia and uh, the space um, <laughs> which became free because somebody probably didn't turn up. Berchter's Garden, absolutely outstanding uh, location in uh, southern Germany. It's got national parks, a wonderful uh, um, town. Uh, I spent uh, um, about 10 days there in April, in fact it was longer than that, it was only two weeks. In April tw 2017, uh, an amazing location. All right, so clothing, don't know anything about that. Uh, other campsites, uh, Dune 6 is on the uh, north, uh, Zingst, uh, on the uh, uh, North Sea, uh, Frisia I think. Uh, not in the North Sea, sorry, the Baltic Sea. So stuff to keep your van clean. And the World Wildlife Fund. A World Wife, sorry, the World Wide Fund for Nature. It's called that now. That's a bit odd. Got some equipment, this is stuff here for, for camping. Uh, more cleaning stuff. Oh, we have a, another nice campsite. This one here in central Austria. And... Uh, yeah, Mountain Dorf. Soap, I'm not quite too certain. Ecological cleaning materials. Uh, ecological sponge cloth, okay. Um, right. Slovenia. Great destination for the motorhome. <laughs> and another great destination here actually is um, uh, Campo Felice which is uh, near Locarno in Switzerland. I went there, you can see the video. And uh, I went there four years ago, 2016. Okay. Molokatin is a group of uh, campsites in the Netherlands. So you can see on the map. Uh, Axie is a well-known uh, organization which groups together a variety of uh, more uh, how should I, exclusive campsites. Uh, they say it's inspected. You know, and I can bring out a, a guide, a camping Führer. Uh, Burger is the only one of the major uh, equipment suppliers, retail, that's here. They say they always have a shop or two shops, I think, they had last time but you can buy all sorts of stuff, which you see in this hall, from them. Uh, there you are, a um, motorhome or caravan rental. Good idea, rent the stuff first. Here's a company, they've got these signs up about uh, various locations in north eastern uh, Italy on the coast. But what they're doing, in fact, is selling wine. And uh, they... You have to take a, a brochure and then if you like the wine they give you uh, to try then you can uh, you can buy it uh, from them but apparently they're doing very good business or so I'm told um, water filtration uh, obviously a major uh, thing to consider 
with uh, motor homes, uh, particularly, you know, if you, sometimes you might be picking water up from dodgy places. I do tend to take water from cemeteries, for example. So it, may, it might be a bad idea actually putting it uh, through um, uh, some kind of filtration system. Okay, so outdoor motors, boating equipment, Transcool, it's a uh, portable air cooler. I've got one from the company uh, in Italy called Adam, which I think mine's slightly better than the ones that they do. And uh, oh, more equipment, and uh, we've got here this gentleman uh, with the yellow shirt, and we've got the boss uh, who is down there. You know, apart for night, where you can find me and at other events. This is Paulina. <laughs> and uh, if you're looking for me, you can always find me around here. Uh, so, more equipment ropes. You know, water filter. Um, as I said, very important. Don't think that's designed for motorhomes. Um, more camping sites, Rügen, uh, on uh, the, the, the Baltic, uh, Mecklenburg, so northeastern Germany. I keep saying I've got to go there. Fairman Island. A friend of mine's got a. You know, well, he's from there. He sort of invited me. I still haven't gone round. Oh, I didn't show you this as well. Uh, more campsites, premium campsites. It's a collection of German campsites. One over here, Sans Souci in Potsdam. A friend of mine owns it, and I do intend to go there uh, in the, on this journey. Having said for years I was going to. Oh, there you are. Campsites in Lower Saxony. Oh, I see these things now. I should have done something about it before. And uh, okay, more campsites. Oh, now here it is a thousand liters of fresh water on a uh, motorhome. This is a really curious piece of, piece of kit. It takes the grey water and makes it clean for drinking again. It does that via reverse osmosis, the same system that is used, for example, on a ship or indeed um, Coca Cola for its. Was it Dawani or something like that? Um, it's got its bottled water that it uses. Anyway, the system costs um, one and a half thousand euros, something like that. But I mean, expedition vehicles could really use something like that. Now, this company here, Aquatech, again, water purification, and there are various ways of doing that. And that is, uh, again, via, um, not, maybe not as, it, 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 it's like uh, pills and other, not pills, what do you call them? The things you put in the water. Um, anyway, it cleans the water up. Can't remember the word now. Uh, okay, so there's uh, refillable gas canisters from Aliu Gas, uh, clothing, more outdoor stuff, uh, houses, what do you call them? Temporary houses, sheds, tents, deck chairs. And uh, right, so there's one location here. I'm going to point this one out actually. So we've got um, a, a tourist, they've got a taken a very big stand here, which is the Teutoburger Forest, uh, the place where the German tribes defeated the Roman Empire two, uh, two, no, sorry, not, not, yeah, 2014 years ago and uh, one of the greatest defeats suffered by the Roman the Romans. But it's got various trails and things of that nature, and I intend to go there also during this trip. Yeah, there's no shortage of tents, as you can see. And I'm gonna conclude this with a look at uh, this company, Fiamma, which you possibly know, they make all sorts of stuff for motorhomes such as bike racks and uh, they've, I, I got some locks which uh, I've got to say I'm not particularly pleased with. Uh, they've I've got um, skylights, 
and other pieces of equipment. But in general, quality is not quite the same as in other com companies. But, 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 uh, it's cheap and that's uh, possibly what uh, the selling point is. It's cheaper anyway. Right, good. So I think I'll finish off here. I'll just show you this Opus tent here. The British company Opus. They make these camping tents and the sort of thing sort of inflates in about three minutes or something. And then it goes into a trailer. Right, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that of interest. Uh, and uh, lots more stuff related to motorhome and RV equipment on this channel. All the best from Dusseldorf.